All right, guys, we're at a uh, crucial part, and it's actually the very first time, as far as I know, that anybody has showed the cooling system on a window AC getting pulled out. So as you saw from my 37-minute long escapade a couple weeks ago of me gutting it, it's actually supposed to be longer, but my camera messed up, and I jumped the gun and deleted everything because I got pissed off and had to do a quick reshoot of parts of it. You guys saw the gist of it, and everything's there. So we have Dave here with me today. We're going to lift this to come to the S heavy son of a bitch out of there and uh it's not gonna take long we are both freezing our asses off it's a point it's like 35 degrees in here and i got two heaters running and it's basically laughing at us more or less than anything so basically you should have three people but we're gonna do it with two so basically one person's gonna get the compressor the other person's gonna get the uh evaporator and condenser now what you do is you lift it directly up out of the chassis and then move it over the easiest way to do it is to lift it up and have a third person pull the tray out from underneath it, but we don't have that option right now. So it works like good, because you can do it this way, you can do it the other way. All right, make it happen. All right. Yeah, so this compressor, you can see it's, it's elevated a little bit from the chassis. So the compressor gonna lay right here the evaporator is going to lay right next, or the condenser is going to sit like right about here. And the uh, evaporator is going to be over here. Probably better if we could have it like this, but honestly, I mean, eh, not really, because if it falls, yeah. It'll be hanging off a little bit, but this way, if it falls off, it can bend to the copper lines. This way, we won't have to worry about it. Yes, we just have to use caution, that's all. Absolutely. The, the, the only line I'm worried about is this return line on the bottom. That's going to be the pain in the ass part. Now, she's huge. <laughs> it, it is. And it's just a pain in the ass the way we put that there. And any, and on any other compressor you're going to pull, you shouldn't have that issue. No. You're going to put it like this. And it, looks like, it looks like this is going to sit lower. So, so it should so it'll actually, yeah, It'll actually have to sit. I mean, if we compress the line a little bit, it's going to be fine. But you can actually probably find a smaller piece of wood. Because this is going to interfere with you. Look, that's the only way yeah. it's going yeah. yeah. All right, hang on. Not a big deal. All right, I'm going to go ship the compressor over the edge so we can get some out. That's so we get the bolt out. Unless you got the bolt out already. Oh, yeah. Are you, it, the bolt is out. Oh, she's ready to come out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just. Yeah, I got all the pieces, pieces on it. Sit off to the side, too. All right. Okay. I wasn't messing around. She's a. Uh, oh, there we go. Hopefully, this will be good. All right, so this compressor is going to rest on this piece of wood right here. Yeah, that's fine, it don't really matter to me. Okay, she's stuck. Yeah, I Yeah, I lied to you. I could have sworn I had that done already. All right, well, now you're gonna see that too. Yeah, the S series is uh, held on from underneath. Just, I think it's the only, only air pressure compressor mounting like that, where it you actually know, bolts from the bottom. You know, back in the, the day, I remember when I was a kid, I was always on eBay looking at the old ads. And I always saw that one about the unit mount compressor. Now yeah. I get it. And, and that's why it's just one bolt that just sucks up from the bottom. Yeah. There's a rubber bushing in there. And good thing, good thing is that like the, the, the Compsa S series is actually yeah. relatively... Uh, it's good. Yeah. 
It doesn't vibrate much, so it should be it should be an easy compressor to get to get running smooth and dialed in. Yeah. I mean, if I, bet, I wonder if you can get a new uh, bushing for the bottom that goes in between. Maybe I'll see how bad it is. Yeah. If I have to, I definitely will. And it looks like it's like I said, it's pretty smooth running and. I'm not really worried about being like a bee with the, with the, with the vibrations and you got vibration. Yeah. 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 Uh, this is gonna be a pain in it. Oh, there you go. It's going. That was actually way easier than I thought it was going to be. I yeah, wonder what the torque specs on that. Oh, that's cool. Look at this. That is awesome. Have yeah, that one that one in Levittown, not going to be this easy. No, I think it's Where just... Where did the... Uh, the what? Oh. Okay, it's on there. Oh, look at that thread. That's why it was so easy. It's real, It's a real oh, coarse that's thread. A, 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 an acne thread is what that is. Well, it's the same thing with the pancake in my, in my weather wheel my bedroom's held on with, uh, but from the okay. top. Yeah. Yeah, that one in Levittown is going to be gone. I, I'm going to have to have all this part, all this shit fabricated. Either that or find a different way to mount it. If I can even manage to get it. Anyway. Oh, hopefully, can we're able to leave. Out out the note. Note. Yep. Okay. Anything else? Speaking of that, anything from that one, you're, you're eyeing up. Uh, not yet. In March is when I got it. That's when I told the guy I would message him again. Was that when he said to him? That's what he said to him. Kind of implied. He didn't seem real enthusiastic about the whole idea. So, like, yeah. Hopefully. He's, he said he's got to talk to his land. Playing lady, the one down in um, King of Prussia. So we'll see how we'll get it. Goes. Have faith. All right. All right. And, oh, there we go. Jesus. Yeah. Well, I think I had the easiest job. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> <laughs> you had the hard. There's a square cutout. No shit. Yeah. Oh, dude, I can see the All right. I so that's dope. Obviously, you don't want to let it wobble too much. If I had a base, I'll have to show the base of it. That is, that the base is of awesome. it's a square, too. That is, that is, that is, that is really neat. I, I mean, that, the whole engineering is just cool stuff, man. That is pretty awesome. I mean, man. It's only really, really, of course, where the condensers were. It's rough. I mean, the rest of it seems pretty solid. Yeah, it's we'll a shame see. We're both not... Um, Metal workers. Uh, yeah, we're real specific. Fabricators. Yeah, I'm with, a um, fabricator. With uh, a break and a few sheet, sheet metal working tools, you, you can make your own air conditioner if you want to. Oh, absolutely. It is, all it is, all these are are stamped pieces of sheet metal. I mean, I really I love mean, to uh, make a new, make another base pad because that one in Levittown, if I get gonna it, it's going to need it. It's yeah, done. Absolutely. The bliss ain't even attached no more. It's just, it's probably just resting on the and I just hope that in that one it didn't rot the bomb and the compressor out. Mm. Yeah, okay, that's, yeah. A that's a square base on the bottom. Is that rubber? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is rubber. Huh. So you could do a compressor swap on if you had to, but it would not be fun. No, that would be... Because I know you want to put maybe an S in the one inside your bedroom. Yeah, I want to try to keep it original. If I can get a pancake, I get a pancake. Mm. So basically, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but I'm basically just putting something to support this, support the... Uh, uh, yeah, the condenser. Yeah. I'm going to evap. I'm just going to slide this under there. Okay. That That's a wrap. She's uh, ready to get worked on. Right. But we just have to be uh, ex use extreme caution while doing so. Absolutely. Because this could get ugly real fast if you're not careful. Mm -hmm. It's old copper. It's probably more hard to bend if you move it a lot. That's your square base. It's on the top. This goes underneath it and bolts into the bottom of the compressor, tightens up, pulls the uh, rubber base from the compressor down, and there's a unit mount. That is awesome. It is. That and is really awesome. And it's amazing how just one bulk can hold all, all, all that weight, too. Oh my god, yeah. Especially when, when you're moving these around, you know, most people moving around, they're getting flipped upside down, you know, on their backs and their sides and stuff. Oh, I don't have a flash, I've to use this light. That's a big rubber gasket is all it is down there. Says and then in the center, it looks like you have another rubber gasket. Either that or that's just that, that compressed in and that just took shape of it maybe. 
I just hope that in that Levittown one, the compressor ain't rotted up. I have, a, I have a feeling I'm gonna be in for a rude awakening if I get that. Mm. It's okay, I like a challenge. Hey, there's nothing that you can't pay a good metal worker to fix. Remember that. That's very true. With enough money, you can get anything done. Can you take a real good look at the uh, condenser and evaporator? The coil rot's pretty bad on it. I don't know if it's enough to affect the cooling capacity. Kenny, that's your call. Will it? Will I lose any BTUs? If so, how many? I imagine it wouldn't be much. I can't picture it being any more than 500 BTUs of a lost cooling. Which this thing is probably 12,000 BTUs, so. 10 at least. And the reason I say that is you can see the size of the freaking room the thing was in. And they ran the balls off of it. They were not shy about running it. This piece here, I'll have to throw this down here with the other spare parts that I have from it. Actually, the other gas is in good shape yet. That's yeah, the, it it's, still, it's still pliable, which is amazing because usually old rubber like this, you touch and just crumbles right apart. Which that's is amazing awesome. providing how badly beat this unit is. Look at that, that's freaking terrible. Yeah. Well, anyway, guys, that's uh, that's it. So I had to get, I had to get, uh, get a good drawing of this because um, I'm gonna have to have another one made up. This base pan is unique to just a unit mount model. And not from 1957 with the S series. It's a part of it's most a lot, not most of it, but a lot of it's gone. Most of this I could probably fix up with some good epoxy. So this pan is repairable, but I'm still gonna need dimensions because I'd like to have a, I like to be ready to have a new one made up if need be for the next one. If this one was used like this bad, I can't, I can't imagine how much hell the other one in Levittown it's, went through. Well, when you put the video on it, I can see where it was all brought out, where the compressor was. That's, that's bad, that's, yeah. That's going to suck to take out. Well, yeah, that's one of those ones that I'm going to need at least. I'd rather have three people, two people, with, well, three people, including myself, because I'm going to need one with a thick piece of plywood underneath it. We're going to have to pull that out onto a piece of, we're going to have to. Yeah. I have to slide it out a little bit, have someone on the back end pushing it with somebody holding the plywood to hold it up on because that's going to fall apart. Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. And we're probably going to leave it like this one's going to be the case and not slide it out like you did with this one. Because uh, this is a case of this one. Yeah, this thing is completely gutted now. So uh, now the only thing we're going to do is uh, clean it up and start putting it back together. Uh, it's not going to be for a while. It's really that's, freaking cold. I was going to say, as soon as it's not like... As soon as it's not in the freaking teens outside, we'll be uh, we'll be ready to rock and roll. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I hope you find hope you enjoyed the first live compressor pool. Peace out, and uh, do let us know what you think.